User Interface and User Experience Best Practices for Game Development User Experience For starters, make sure to implement proper calls to action appropriately at each part of the game, even in the menus. A call to action is simply an element that instructs the player on what to do. This can be something as simple as a flashing Go graphic, or as complex as audio instructions from an NPC. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. Players should never have to be confused as to what they're supposed to be doing. Remember, for every action, there must be an equal and tangible reaction. If your game has an element that impacts the state of a visible object in a significant way, it must have audio and visual feedback that's clearly represented to the player. Let's say you have a top-down shooter where your gun can only shoot once every five seconds. Make that completely obvious to the player by having a visual indicator on the gun that looks different when it's cooling down. Then, have a distinctly audible and visual cue when it's ready to fire again. This may seem like a small detail, but when it comes to making your game feel well-produced and polished, the difference is night and day. Another example could be a platformer with a character who can jump. Without audio feedback, the character's jump animation would just feel wrong, but let's get beyond just the basics. The goal here is to make sure that the game looks and feels responsive to the player. You can't just slap on a jump sound and call it done. You'll have to consider the jumping animation, landing animation, and the landing sound effect as well. The small details matter a lot more than you think. Every single state change in your game must be accompanied by proper cues. Otherwise, your game won't have the sparkle and polish required to compete with modern games. This rule also applies for menu elements. User Interface Don't break immersion. Make sure your user interface matches the style of your game, because after all, your user interface isn't the point of the game. The game is. The best user interface, no matter how visually appealing it is, will be functional and subservient to the game itself. It will accentuate the game's design without distracting from it. User Experience Give your game real meaning. Sometimes mindless violence can be fun, but if the player's actions don't matter, they may not wish to continue playing. Giving your game meaning can be done in various ways. The most common method is to have some lore or a strong storyline that gives the main character, and by extension the player, a place in the game world. As a result, the player can invest in the character, wishing to see them through to the end. Sometimes, difficulty alone can create meaning as well, but you should never underestimate the power of good writing.